So I just arrived at our first guest apartment. The series Knock 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 is planned to learn more diverse international students, their lives, their daily lives, their thought, and their various degree programs. So this is my first Knock 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 trier. So I'm pretty nervous, but let's go. Welcome to my house. Hi, this is Gil. This is Henny Hearn. She's our first guest for Knock 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 series. So Henny, could you introduce yourself more? <laughs> of course. So as Gil already said, my name is Henny. I study here at FAU. I just started my PhD in Social and Cultural Anthropology under the Institute of Sociology. Um, I'm originally from the U.S., from Idaho, and I'm happy to be a guest on this Knock 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 series. Yeah. <laughs> so, Henny, could you introduce more about your current degree programs or your project? Yes, so my degree will be in anthropology, but I'm working under a project that is titled Law Tech Ethnographies, where we're researching the digitalization of court systems and specifically for me I'm interested in criminal courts so I did my master's thesis on the impact of zoom hearings during the pandemic um, and I did that in the US at home and now I'm planning to research here in Germany doing ethnographic research so on the ground participant observation of the criminal courts to see what impact digitalization is having there Wow, that's, I think that's a very timely um, topic. Oh, thank okay. you. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I would like to ask you what was the biggest reason for your decision to do your PhD in our university? Yes, so I actually was already here at FAU for my master's degree. I did it in the Standards of Decision Making Across Cultures program, and I graduated this summer. And originally, I actually wanted to go back home and go to law school, but I liked it so much here in Erlangen, I decided to stay. Um, I really loved conducting the research for my master's thesis, and I had good supervision from my professor. And luckily, I had the opportunity to continue with him under his new chair in the Institute of Sociology, where he also had a position for a PhD student. Um, so I thought it was a great opportunity to continue and to be able to have this unique perspective as a researcher yeah. um, that I wouldn't be able to have as a lawyer. Oh. <laughs> Do you have any institution or website or even people that have helped you uh, with various practical questions such as funding or their daily lives or their prospects? Yes, so when I was first thinking of doing the PhD, I looked at the DAAD website um, to look for scholarships mm -hmm. because I wasn't sure if I would have a position within the university. Um, and there was a lot of helpful information at DAD about various ways you can go about getting your PhD in Germany. But I think most importantly is to find a supervisor that yeah. will supervise your PhD and has similar research interests as you. Um, so making connections here, speaking to the professor, explaining what you want to do. Then once you make those connections, they're very helpful in getting the process to move along and to get you a position or a scholarship or something mm -hmm. to help you be able to fund your PhD. Mm -hmm. Then um, when is the good timing? I would say like in the year before you want to start your PhD mm -hmm. or a year before you want to start your PhD. Mm -hmm. So the sooner the better um, so that you have time to apply for scholarships. As soon as you know you want to do a PhD, yeah. start talking to professors yeah. and let people know and look at DAAD. And I think FAU also has like a graduate center mm -hmm. and you can send them emails and they're very helpful and responsive as well. Oh, nice. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's also a very like, important question. What are you most satisfied with doing PhD at our university 
in Erlangen? Well, first of all, as I already said, I love Erlangen and that's one of the reasons I decided to stay. So Erlangen is super international, so it's not that big of a city, but there's people from all over the world and you hear all sorts of languages when you're walking on the streets. Um, so I really love that part of Erlangen. The university is also huge and there's a lot of opportunities here. There's a lot of different departments and I feel like all of the departments are hosting always these mm -hmm. cool events, cool lectures. And as a student, you're able to visit any of the lectures you mm -hmm. want um, and take part in all of these events. Yeah. So there's endless opportunities yeah. and that's really awesome. Yeah, so I think it's really a good opportunity to explore more other field and try to make your interdisciplinary project. And the last question is, is there any message you should give to other prospect international students who want to study PhD in our university? I would say just go for it and don't be nervous to reach out to professors because a lot of people want to help. People are always happy to get an email from somebody who's interested in what they're researching. Um, so just go for it. Are you satisfied with your PhD data life so far? Definitely. I think the PhD life is very fast paced and there's a lot of new experiences. For example, teaching, which has been quite an interesting experience, mm -hmm. but I'm learning a lot mm -hmm. and hopefully continue to learn more. And I'm conducting my research now on a topic that I'm very interested in. And that's been super fun. And I feel like every day there's something new. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah. I would say it's going great so far. I'm only one month in, so I can't wait to yeah. see what the next three years True. have. <laughs> thank you for watching today's video, today's interview. And Henny, thank you for inviting me and having us. Thank you for having me on your Knock Knock series as the first guest. <laughs> <laughs> knock Knock Knock!